What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to stream audio uh, from your iOS device uh, to a compatible Windows PC. Uh, now this should work both on Windows 8 as well as Windows 10 uh, but in this case I am going to be using Windows 8 uh, for this particular demonstration. And I'm going to be using an iPhone running iOS 10. Um, but it should work on previous versions of iOS as well, but I cannot guarantee that uh, since I'm unable to test that at this point in time. But, so, uh, the process is actually very simple. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you need to do is grab your iOS device and jump into settings and go to Bluetooth and turn on Bluetooth as so. So there we go. So now Bluetooth is now on and now we need to go onto the PC screen and configure some settings there. So now uh, once you're on your computer what you need to do is go over to uh, control panel. So the way you access that on either Windows 8 or Windows 10 is you access the charm bar, hit settings, and then hit control panel. And then from here uh, you're gonna want to navigate over to hardware and sound. Click on that, and then at the very top, you're going to want to click on Devices and Printers. So go ahead and click on that. Let it load up here. And okay, so gotten into this menu here. You then want to go and make sure your uh, computer's Bluetooth is turned on. Now in my case, uh, this particular computer or laptop does not have Bluetooth built in, uh, so I have to use an external Bluetooth adapter. Uh, but if your uh, laptop or desktop computer has Bluetooth built in, it should work just the same. <clears throat> uh, so whatever the case, uh, make sure your device's Bluetooth is turned on. And of course, make sure your iOS device's Bluetooth is turned on as well. So from this point, you're going to want to hit Add Device. All right. So now once the computer has uh, connected to the device, it's going to ask to uh, enter the passcode. Uh, that is displayed on the screen here. So you have to go to your device and uh, select pair as we see here and you need to confirm that the number is exactly the same as it is on the screen so it's 933967. Uh, now the number will be different depending on circumstances so when you're ready to do it hit pair and then the device or phone should connect to your computer and you should be ready to go. So now on the computer, you're gonna to wanna to hit yes and confirm that the code is exactly the same. So hit yes. And now it's gonna install the device drivers that are necessary to have this work properly. And here we are, now it's gonna configure Bluetooth services. All right, so there we go. Uh, the phone is now connected to the computer. So. It is currently basically in standby mode, if you want to call it that, because it's not directly paired uh, to the phone at this point in time. So the only time that that will happen and the connection will be established is once you connect uh, via one of these two options here. So you do have the option to, in this case, uh, stream music and audio from your iPhone to uh, your Windows computer. And it also gives you the option to use your device as a remote keyboard and mouse. Uh, but in this particular demonstration, we're going to just focus on the music and audio. So once you want to connect that, just hit connect. And there you go. So now the Bluetooth has paired and connected to your iPhone. And it has a little green check mark and we're connected. So now as you can see in the bottom right corner you now have a media player uh, that shows up automatically once you connect to your device. So from this point, you can now stream any audio uh, from your iPhone over to your Windows PC. So let's go ahead and go to YouTube and stream a video. And let's just say this first video here. And as you see, the audio is now being played from the laptop speakers. So if I turn up the volume here, there you go. So you can see the audio is now being played straight from the computer. And if you want to pause, 
just hit the media controls on the computer or you could of course pause the audio straight from your device. So as you can see, when you pause it on the computer, it also pauses it on the iPhone, which is a pretty neat thing. So as again, you can see here, we play it and, and it starts playing, pause, and it pauses. So it's really, really neat. So, and it works just like AirPlay. So if you want to change the output source, you just hit the little AirPlay icon here. And you can see you could change it from the internal speakers on your iPhone or the Bluetooth streaming to your computer. So anyway, that is basically it. Um, so hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below. It is greatly appreciated. Uh, make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. That's also much, much appreciated. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or need help in any way, just drop a comment below and I will get back to them as soon as I possibly can. So yes, with that all being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed once again and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.